edition of NSFW Show, we are joined by Ron Richards of AAA and Image Comics. He gives some legal advice to Brian, who has a secret project that he will reveal. Also, Neil deGrasse Tyson, has he shot to the stars with his big head of ego? We find out Twitter style. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 216, recorded on February 4th, 2014. Hacking the Plebeians. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to ProXPN.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free two-week trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW2. And Ting.com. Ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay only for what you use. Ting doesn't require a contract and offers unlimited devices on one shared plan. To save $25 on your first Ting device, visit nsfw.ting.com. That's nsfw.ting. Dot com. Yeah. What happened in here? We was robbed. You're absolutely right. In West Philadelphia, born been raised on the playground. It's where I spend most of my day chilling out, maxing, relaxing. Uh oh. And all shooting some beef ball outside of your school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight. My mom got scared and said, You're moving with your uncle in the lab. A whistle. Yeah. It is go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the webinars, the show that's nominally safe for work. Oh my goodness, family that I wish I had. It's me, Brian Brushwood, joined as always in Petaluma, the center of the freaking universe. It's none other than Justin Robert Young. What is going on, JRY? <laughs> Brian, we have a show tonight that's going to literally evacuate your bowels. <laughs> wow, um, I'm going to recommend that you go and uh, put a tarp down under your butthole because otherwise <laughs> it's going to soak right through the carpet. That's the poop that right now lies dormant in your stomach but will be startled out of your body by the talent and amazingness that is about to come because we are okay. joined by not a simple man. No. A complex man. <laughs> he's, com he's the single most... Complex man in the entire universe. Nobody understands him. No. Neil deGrasse Tyson tried to make a snarky tweet, but couldn't even understand him. And he just is broke. His brain broke. And he, he was tried like, to do uh, it. Neil cool. deGrasse Tyson was caught in a loop like a like a like a computer in just the dismissive snort uh, chortle. He would just went, yeah. Tuh, huh. it, it, huh, he, huh. he got started. Yeah, and then he just kept huh, looping. Huh. I'm like, ha. Huh. <laughs> 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 and I then definitely he cried started just then for <laughs> over a decade. And if you listen really close, you can hear him crying to this day. Because the man we are joined by is not only the host of All About Android, he's not only a beautiful, handsome man that makes the ladies swoon from coast to coast, he's also uh, a hard at work at one of the most important media companies today. That ain't no jive. Image Comics. All about Android host Ron Richards, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead. And Huzzah! Get a big fat wow, that that is possibly the greatest introduction I've ever gotten. But I don't want to gloss over when you stammered over. He got caught in a loop, like a computer. Yeah. <laughs> like, where you're just showing your tech knowledge right there, you know, like like, a, like, like a one computer. of them computers. Like one of them computers. <laughs> see, if you were thinking ahead, you Justin, know. you would have tied it all in and said, like an Android. Right. Because you he's see? the host of All About Android. That would have been the way to go. It would have been good. Yeah. Yeah. Instead, it sucked. But 
Thank you for the great introduction. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 Way it's to a sell it. It's uh, I know, yeah, really. It's uh, so. Do you realize, Ron? This has been like an epic journey. Like you joined us on the BB Live Show once, but I don't think I ever got you on Scam School, did I? No, I was on Scam School. We did the we, whenever Scam Off School. School great stuff. We, we did the card throwing in the studio. That's right. We did the and, and we also did the memory test. You were on that as well. Yes. But I guess the reason I'm thinking about this is the first time I met you was what seven years ago now? Seven years. It, I came in to shoot some episodes, the first batch of episodes of Scam School. You guys were playing rock band, and we stepped up, and we started playing Nine Inch Nails together, and we totally melted faces. And then you turn, and you're like, hi, I'm Ron Richards. And I'm like, we've met before. And then this dawning horror, you're like, no, we haven't. And then this dawning horror as I realized that I was just a fan of you on iFanboy, and I... I thought I had met you because I watched your show and I felt really dumb. You, you got then, you got and, you got the podcast sucker when you meet some when you meet right. one of your favorite podcasters and you're like, oh yeah, I know, I just listen to you. I know. I just have a relationship <laughs> with you, but in my own head. You know, that actually before podcasting that happened to me. We can tell embarrassing stories here. That's the whole premise sure, of this, right? Yeah, yeah. No, you can. Um, I was in New York City in like early 2000s and I was hanging out with a bunch of people in the village. We were, it was, might have been in college, actually, maybe late 90s, and hanging out by NYU and you know doing our doing our thing. And uh, one of my friends had a had a lady with him, and and, and I, I recognized her, and I was like, oh, clearly, you know, like we're chatting, whatever. And I'm like, you look so familiar. Uh, have we met before? Do you go do you, do you go to punk shows? Yeah. Do you, you know, are you, I'm, are you from Long Island? I'm from Long Island. And we're going through about ten minutes of trying to figure out how I know her. And then she's like, oh, she's like, well, I was on the Real World London. <laughs> And so, and then I looked at her and I go, yeah, I don't know you, do I? She's like, nope. And just walked away. <laughs> that, was, oh, that was it. <laughs> so, Amazing. Yeah. So that, the, way, the fact that she let you go that long. Yeah, I know. It was like, so yeah. literally. Yeah, right, Who yes. It? Who was it? It was the girl on the Real World London, the, the American girl on the Real World. Remember so she, let's get pictures she got, um, of this. She's the one who liked the dude who got his tongue bit off. Do you remember that? Yes, yeah. the punk guy. The punk guy, yeah. Got yep. his tongue yep. bit off. Yep. And then for a Valentine, he got a, a horse heart. Uh, yes. And had a barbed wire yes. heart. her. Never heard the show. Who the hell are you people? I don't, what, what is happening right now? <laughs> um, when was the real world London a thing? Uh, 1995, 96. Oh, no, dude, that was on the edge. That was on the edge of the real it world. It was right, but right before, it was before Seattle, before Irene on Seattle. So yeah. it was like, like. Well, no, the real world fell apart as soon as like they went to Vegas. That and was it literally it, yeah. just became yep. a whorehouse. Yeah, that's what it I was, was like. How many yep. combinations of this cast can yep. we have? There we go. It's other. one of those, it's one of, the, not the one, the one on the bottom right. That must have been her. What did the 90s do to everybody's hair? Jesus and Christ. Yeah, so I don't remember what her name was, but yeah, that's her. Whatever. So, All right, yeah. well, this anyway. conversation. So there you go. Way. So that's just like meeting your favorite podcaster. <laughs> Basically. 90s um, style. Brian? Yeah, buddy? Uh, you've got a big announcement. Oh, dude, are we, gonna, are we just going to whip it out first thing? You guys ready <laughs> for this? Do you want to know what? I don't we, don't, we don't like to play around here. Foreplay? More like <laughs> bore play. <laughs> we like, we're just get gonna get right into it. Into it. <laughs> we're just gonna show up and be like, "Hi, we're here. It's time for you to take it." Uh, <laughs> I think that's, uh, I was on my first date with with Ashley when I just showed up to her house, <laughs> literally on the doorstep. And I, went, I, I, I said, "Ding dong," and then the door opened, and I pulled yeah. down my pants and just went, "Whoa!" Like it was a surprise that it had happened. You're like, I, like, I, I have it for you. Off. And she's like, oh, good. I'm glad. I wanted it. And there it is. <laughs> and then, and and now you uh, are deeply in love. And that's um, how manatees are born. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Uh, okay, look, here's the thing is I'm not very good at keeping secrets, especially from chat realm. And it has been extremely difficult for over a year now to be keeping secret the fact that I've been working on a uh, uh, on on a television show. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah! Wait, what? Hold on. Uh, wait okay, a minute. Yes. There's a couple words I just didn't understand. <laughs> working <laughs> television show. Explain yeah. them in that order. What uh, have you okay. been doing on this show for a year? It's but a simple hour or thirty minutes. How long wait. could it take? It, it, well, apparently it takes a while because you got to have an idea and then you got to find a partner to connect with the idea and then you got to pitch the idea. And then they, somebody who's, who likes the idea has to go and talk to a whole bunch of networks and a bunch of networks. And then one network says, I love this idea. And then they have to commit like a ridiculous amount of money. And then you have to schedule going out and shooting the show 
Then you got to do voiceovers and edits. And, uh, and then finally, you get you end up with the show. If you're audio only, you're really missing something right now. Uh, and, uh, and, and then you wait patiently, holding this secret deep in your heart for a ridiculous amount of time until finally one day the phone rings and they're like, hey, bro, you got an air date. And you, my friend, are going to sit there with your silly mug for an hour of primetime television on National Geographic on uh, February 27th. Your show, Hacking the System, is actually happening. Your childhood dream of having a big, fat, hour-long special on primetime on Nat Geo is actually happening. And, uh, and I, for one, couldn't be more excited. I'll so tell you what, Brian. Jazzed. Listen, uh, me and everybody else in America are going to suck these gnats as in Nat Geo. <laughs> Listen, Brian, you're so fly, you can watch my Nats. <laughs> I'm so proud you can watch my Nat Geo. Hey, speaking of which, but here's the thing, right? Well, here, is... let's, let, here, let, let's, let's get the big particulars out one more time, just so everybody knows. The name of the show is? Uh, it is Hacking the System. And in fact, uh, I've got some links. I put them in the doc here. Let me see. Um, oh, I gave all the stuff just for Nat Geo's thing. Hang on. Uh, here, you talk for a second. Okay. I, I got to find uh, this. So the name of the show is Hacking the System. It will be on the National Geographic channel, Nat Geo to all the kids, pimps, and hustlers out there. Uh, if you <laughs> would like to watch it, you are going to tune in at what time and what date, Brian? Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on Thursday, February 27th. This is the other thing, man. Not only is it gonna be like uh, prime time, but it's it's on it's it's at Thursday, February 27th. Here, I'm gonna post something that's, in the chat. That's, that's Let's see the if must I can... see TV. That's the must see TV I know, slot. Right? Wow. And plus, that's also impressive. like you grow up, you're watching you're watching National Geographic specials or whatever. Like those guys are gonna have a channel someday, and I'm gonna spend an hour and <laughs> farting around on their <laughs> and I'm gonna their, be on that channel <laughs> on their prime time stuff. But uh, here, I posted one of the links in there. They actually have a, a, a couple of placeholder links. There's nothing in there right now. Um, but there's uh, the two episodes. There's uh, for people. And, and it's really weird because I don't know what I am and I'm not supposed to necessarily talk about. But I gave two links for there. One is for the episode about hacking your home. The other one's the episode for uh, hacking your car. So these but, are, uh, are back-to-back half-hour sh shows, right? Correct. So Correct. it's an and hour chock long. Full. You get a you get a, a big power rock block of Bry. Uh, yes. So let's let's explain a little bit of the show. What what will the show be? What can Diamond Club and Chat Realm expect from this, the Brian Brushwood Television Experience? Uh, well, I don't know how much I'm supposed to say, but I will say this much. Here's what here's what Chat Realm could do is if you want if you want to start a shenanigan. Because here's the thing, though, you know the as well as I do, Justin. That, uh, that energy feeds on energy and how much promotion this gets is going to depend in some level as to how excited they are. How excited they are is going to depend on how much they feel like this has a lot of momentum is going places. I'm just going to say it would be pretty great if a spontaneous groundswell of epic proportions exploded with excitement targeted at, at Nat Geo Channel that, uh, that you are genuinely excited about... About, oh, I just got kicked from from the chat. That you're genuinely excited about this episode, but I don't know. I don't know how to make it a particularly diamond clubby experience, Justin. Um, I mean, maybe if we had uh, a little. Uh, uh, sorry, I think I, I just heard a, a, a Atari boot up here somewhere <laughs> in the. Studio. Sometimes you need to play. Sometimes, listen, yeah. you got a 2600, and you're like, I need all 2600 of them. Bring them to my face. Uh, I think that we just need to have maybe maybe. A oh, everybody's tweeting at Nat Geo, which is not the right place. No. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you got to be careful. At Geo you, Channel. When you unleash at the Nat masses. Geo Geo channel. Channel. <laughs> at Nat Geo Channel. That's what you're doing. That's what's going to happen. Well, wow, right. I think. Listen, uh, I would use. I think we should just let the Diamond Club loose, and we'll just see what what develops out of it, huh? Yeah, I say. I say, speak from the heart, and uh, uh, here uh, I'll put here. Speak from the heart, repeatedly. 
<laughs> and I'll put you here at Nat Geo Channel is what you want to hit up at Nat Geo Channel on Twitter. Uh, let them know how excited you are about this because I'll tell you what, man, I'm freaking, I'm, I'm freaking exploding with excitement and joy. Like it hasn't been real this entire time. I've regarded it as some bizarre fantasy that that somebody's willing to like, like prank me to the tune of fly me out to Hollywood to shoot stuff and Dude, then fly me was, back to shoot more stuff. And it was then, one of the most amazing 48 hours of my life that actually, no, it was, it was 24, no, it was 48. I was down in LA. I saw Andrew shoot Don't Trust Andrew Maine for A&E. And then the next night drove out and saw Brian shoot uh, some Hack the System uh, outside of LA because you guys were shooting the Hack Your Home thing. And it was... <clears throat> A, a brain exploding experience to see two of my best friends, uh, you know, just really give it their all and, and make these awesome television shows. Obviously, Andrew's show is currently airing. Uh, and funny enough, it was the scenes, scenes that, I, that were shown last night that I was out there to see. And then today, we are finally able to talk about hacking the system, who, by the way, Jason Murphy is on with you, right? Yeah, man, Jason Murphy of the Rage Select podcast I'm showing here. People are asking what's the exact name of the show. Let me let me read this nonsense, and then we'll talk about Jason. Uh, it says here, Hacking the System, Hack Your Home. Next airing is coming up Thursday, February 27th. And if, I, I assume this is a placeholder thing because they'll, they'll be leaking, you know, little bits and pieces from the show in advance. But uh, but the tagline that they have here is, uh, are, you want to read this and, and make yeah, me sound like no, a badass, uh, Justin? I'll, I'll read it. You want, you want to give me a voice, Brian? Uh, <laughs> give it. How about an old time newsy? Old time newsy? Okay. Yeah. For fifteen years, Brian Brush. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, like, like, like an old time, an old time, <laughs> like, like, uh, 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 reading the news, uh, from, from the, like, in the movie. Oh, like, 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 this just in news for fifteen reels. years, yeah, Brian Brush. I, I didn't quite know what you were doing there. Like a newsy. Extra, extra, read all about it, Brian. You know, then breaking a song. That's next, fine or? too. That's fine too. <laughs> no, bring it back up. Here we go. <laughs> it's like the newsreel. You know, Captain America. Okay, okay. You know. I got you. I got you. This just then. <laughs> For 15 years, Brian Brushwood has made a career out of social manipulation and thinking like a criminal. Now he's revealing how to avoid people who cheat the system and showing you the legal tips, tricks, and shortcuts to get ahead in life. One hack at a time. This week he's tackling home security. <laughs> To demonstrate just how vulnerable the average American house is, Brian will break into one. He will also show you what criminals look for when casing a property and explain how to defeat door locks and alarm systems. He'll even try to talk his way into people's homes and demonstrate how kicking open a door isn't quite as easy as it looks in the movies. Ask Brian Brushwood, <laughs> Hacking the System, February 27th on the Nat Geo Network. The show that all Nat the newsies Geo, have been talking about. We used to show animals banging. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I don't normally ask you to double down, but I kind of want you to do the uh, to do the uh, the other one as well because they have just a different description for the. Uh, I guess hack your car is this when one. When so you I'm just don't know that newsy car. voice is coming, it's it's startling. <laughs> I'm mean, I mean, sitting next to you and you started melting it out because I knew exactly what Brian meant as like a newsreel voice. And I was like, what is he doing? No newsy. <laughs> he said the word. New There's a movie. No, I did not. The caps Before and the he cap, was Batman, he was a newsie. With the vests and the he joppers. And the, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm uh, with you. All right, Brian, <laughs> do, you want, do you want another voice for this one? Uh, I'll tell you what, I want Ron to pick a voice for this one. Oh, I, I don't do voices. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's legit right there for everybody who's watching. Wow. Uh, uh, who's uh, just uh, an audio listener. Andrew and Brian have their own TV shows, and Jerry's just sitting here masturbating. <laughs> Fair point. Um, all right, no, uh, Ron, just make up a voice for 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 Justin to do. <laughs> um, why don't you do a seven, do a Cronkite, you know, sixty seventies newscaster. 60s. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Very solemn. Vietnam okay. is happening. Right, you know, gotcha. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very solemn. Vietnam right. is happening. Let's go to Walter Cronkite Young. For fifteen years, Brian Brushwood has made a career out of social manipulation and thinking like a criminal. Now he's revealing how to avoid people who cheat the system and showing you the legal tips, tricks, and shortcuts to get ahead in life, one hack at a time. This week, he'll be focused on all things automotive. 
In a brazen <laughs> demonstration, he explains what car thieves look for in a vehicle and what you can do to avoid being targeted. Actually, this copy said, avoid be targeted. <laughs> <laughs> there, but there, I there. corrected it because I'm a goddamn professional. <laughs> and back to the copy. In a tense experiment, Brian tries to talk his way out of a speeding ticket on a lonely desert highway. What happens Holy next cow. is an erotically charged <laughs> 15 <laughs> minutes, the likes of which you haven't seen on the National Geographic channel since we showed animals banging. <laughs> Done. All you needed was a cigarette and the big glasses. Oh and the... <laughs> Punching my way through the news, Bri. <laughs> no, Justin Young, news puncher. I'm not, listen, I'm sick of masturbating. Give me the TV show. I want to know where the TV show's at. Give me the TV shows. Y'all want to see me even TV show? Say yeah. Say yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> Oh, wow. man, I would pay I to see a TV show. show. Flute, passed down from my descendants in Ireland. Um, all right, all right hey, so real quick, real quick. I'm going to, uh, just so everyone knows, we got we to pay some bills right now, but I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, some choice tweets to uh, share with you guys. For those of you guys, it's at Nat Geo Channel. Express how excited you are about the show. Uh, Brian? Yeah? There's a real problem. Uh, Ron, too. I want to I loop you in on this very serious yeah. conversation. Getting serious. We're getting really real. We're got we some real talk? This is real talk, all right? You ever been to prison? <laughs> you got to turn the scene around. You gotta see yeah. Back. Yeah, we, like, uh, yeah, like let's I'm, rap here. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like I'm a youth minister who wants to show people like how it's like, yep. I used to be from the streets. <laughs> Rolls up his arm. Uh, all right, so here's the, here's the problem. Problem is uh, you got uh, you got all sorts of nefarious, long-fingered criminals that want to get all up in your online business. Maybe there's some weirdos looking to mine your data. Or maybe it's the government looking to get all up in your beeswax. I got one thing that you can do to get them right up out of your cheese, and that's ProXPN. You wanna know what ProXPN does? It tells those guys, Meh, right in their face. And there ain't nothing they can do about it. They can be pissed off. They can huff and puff around. Oh, I wanna see that data. That's what they'd say. But they can't, <laughs> thanks to ProXPN. They got a 512-bit encryption tunnel, and every single one of those bits is <laughs> right in their face. 512 in the face of anybody who's got a problem. Brian, do you, you want to see yeah. my data? Uh, yeah. It, who else wants to see Justin's data? <laughs> Say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that times 512 if I have ProXPN. Oh. Uh, I want to watch something on uh, a service I pay for. It just doesn't happen to be in my region. <laughs> Ooh, my region is inappropriate. You wanna know what? ProXPN doesn't stand for it. You can region unlock. You can be whatever you want. What if you're like, oh, okay. Uh, I was born in the United States, but I gender identify as a Briton. <laughs> ProXPN makes you as a Briton <laughs> makes you that well, a reality they, they, for they you. They actually listen. It's it comes to a certain point. You live your whole life believing that you're a Briton on the inside, and then finally it makes it possible. It's, it's, it's the closest thing. You know, God made a mistake when He made me an American, and I feel like I was meant to be a subject of the Queen. And then when I use ProXPN, I feel like I'm there. ProXPN also works on your iOS or Android devices, allowing you to use your data plan or public slash corporate Wi-Fi with complete and total privacy on the go. <laughs> the British style. Yeah, the British style. The that British you're... privacy is, is, is a good, is, that's the good privacy. Oh, oh yeah. dude, yeah. come on. Yeah. That's that good. <laughs> uh, World-class customer support as well, because let's, I mean, like, what are you gonna do? Customer support that's the best in Jamaica? Dude, no one's bragging about that. Best in Jamaica. But this one about Pro XPN. What is it? Steve Gibson. We we have a, a power rock block here on Twit. It goes security now. Tech yep. news tonight. All about Android. Yep. This show. We're bringing up the rear, right? But our lead off. Oh, yeah. All of our lead off is Steve Gibson. It's secure. And one day, Steve Gibson looked at Pro XPN and said, 
God damn it, if this isn't the finest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the way I remember it, but I don't know if those were his exact words. Because we met at New Year's Eve, and, yeah. we, and we were like, how do you feel about Pro XPN? I mean, it feels right, but I don't know if technically he did that. I think, well, it just said Steve Gibson gave it a great review on Security Now, and I'm pretty sure that's what it meant. We got to read between the lines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's amazing. So here's the deal. Here's what you're going to do. ProXPN.com slash trip for more information and to sign up. ProXPN premium accounts are normally $9.95 a month or $74.95 an entire year. And these are friend prices. Okay? <laughs> but you want to know what? We're knocking it down just for you. You got a special offer? We got a special offer. We're going to get them together. Use the code NSFW to receive 20% off the lifetime of your account. That's less than five bucks a month for the yearly plan. If you ain't satisfied, you can cancel in <laughs> seven days for a full refund. Go to proxvn.com slash twit and sign up with the code NSFW. They accept Visa, PayPal, and now Bitcoin. So make it rain. Tell you what, man. If they accepted Dogecoins, I'd be rolling in ProXBN, man. Wow, such security. <laughs> So, and what's that uh, promo code again? NSFW. Uh, that is promo code NSFW. ProXPN.com slash twit. Uh, all right. Well, listen, Brian, I had I had a bit set up, but I feel like we might have hit lightning in a bottle with, uh, with Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. As long as we're talking about Twitter. And by the way, thanks for everyone. <laughs> Ev Lloyd just says... Hacking the system? More like animals banging. <laughs> at Schwinn, at Justin no, they Arkeon. don't show it anymore. They've moved on. Now, now they say, like, yeah. where can we get something as viscerally exciting as animal banging? I don't know. Brian, have you heard this Brian Brushwood fellow? And boom, now he's on television. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, we should. I promised to talk a little bit about Jason Murphy. If you guys haven't listened to the Rage Select podcast, it is delightfully filthy. And by the way, when you come out for South by Southwest, Justin, we totally need to do a full-on video game playthrough with those guys because they are they are very, very funny yeah. and they play, play video games. Uh, the... Uh, he he and I were kicking around this idea. Man, I don't I don't need to, I don't know how much of this is interesting to the story, but but Jason and I had kicked around TV show ideas as far back as 10 years ago was before the court TV thing. Jason and I worked on some stuff. And after the court TV thing failed and then I went and um started working with uh you know uh, Revision 3 doing Scam School, which in many ways was How sort of like know, a reboot. Uh, turned out all right. Turned Good. out all right. 40, 45 million views later, I'm starting to think it might have legs. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Fine. But <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fool's gold to me. <laughs> so at any rate, Go chase your dreams. <laughs> at, any, <laughs> at any rate, like I had, I had talked with Jason for... <laughs> I love, I love dismissive host Justin as my new favorite character. I'm setting up for Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm trying to prime the bump. You're channeling. You're trying That's to get, get the snark on. That's good. Um, <laughs> scam school. 45 million views. <laughs> All right. Well, when I went uh, to school, uh, I like to learn. <laughs> Not drink. <laughs> So uh, at any rate, uh, what was funny, like, like two years ago, we ran into each other again. We really hadn't had talked much, and we just started kicking around ideas, and then we came up with the genesis of what became Hacking the System. And uh, I'll tell you, and uh, Jason's in the episodes. He, he's actually in the show. So if you're a fan of Rage Select, if you're a fan of Captain Murphy, you'll get to see him in Dude, there. And he's and certainly, really funny. He is really, yeah. he is, he lends so much to that show, especially the stuff that I saw. He is, uh, you guys are a, a, a great on camera team it is it is awesome to watch yeah it's very weird to watch something polished and finished and hear your own stupid voice doing stupid voiceovers and you're like i'm just so dumb why do i why? i'm like nobody will love me but uh, but it's a really really good show it's really weird and detached to watch yourself in it and i'm really really excited to show it off to you guys uh all right well everybody at nat geo channel Let's go ahead and, and blow that up. Everybody, go tweet right now. Uh, you are excited for hacking the system. Speak from the heart. 
and we will we will tune up the best of what you have to, to say to them. I know you guys do this all the time, but I can't wait. I, I wish I could be a fly in the wall tomorrow morning at National Geographic Network <laughs> headquarters when Stacy, the social media coordinator, 24 <laughs> years old, gets her latte and comes to work and boots up Hootsuite, and it's just like yeah. in the and then she's. She's all these. <laughs> oh, because because this is you. You did this, right? You were in charge of the social or, or of the the message board. What was what was your role at Revision Three? I when I was at Revision Three, I did. Um, I, you see, I see, talk about Revision Three, and I start rubbing my head. Oh, <laughs> <just> oh. <laughs> no, I was. Um, what did I do? I was. It's like you're returning from Vietnam. It really you're remembering. Kind of, it was. It was <laughs> It was a fun couple of years. So, it's like, it's like I said. I said the code word. It was happened. like uh, telephone. I read the the poem by Robert Frost. And you're just like, oh geez. Yeah, I know. Yeah, all of a sudden, I'm 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 rocking. Is there a bathtub I can just get in the fetal position? No, I loved I love Revision Three. It was great. Um, no, I, when I was there, I was but um, like, yeah, but yeah. Um, no, no. Hey, if it wasn't for Revision Three, I wouldn't be in the Bay Area. That, that's what got me to move out to San Francisco. So I, I got nothing but good, good things. Good but um, no, I ran the marketing and the website stuff. So yeah, we we did the the forums and the website and the Twitter and the Facebook and all that fun stuff. So, um, and this is back before we had social media coordinators Ooh. and before it was actually a job. It the was, dark yeah. ages. Yeah, exactly. So, but um, um, yeah, the, the dealing with the with the with the thousands of people yelling at you because they don't like a, something that you're doing. Yeah, that's always fun. That's never a good time. No, well, maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jury's out. Um, Brian DJM says Nat Geo Channel on behalf of Chat Realm and all us fans of Atchwood. Hi, Stacy. Hashtag hacking the system. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Skinner, TV Zegon says so. Schwood isn't just hacking the system; he's hacking my heart. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, Brian, while we're talking about Twitter, let's let's talk about Neil deGrasse Tyson. So so let's get this out up front, just so nobody gets it twisted. Neil deGrasse Tyson yeah. is smarter than all of us. He is a brilliant spokesperson, not only for uh, space, but science in general. He is going to be the face of the brand new Cosmos show, which I, I believe is also a co-production with National Geographic, uh, as well as the, oh, wow. the, the Fox network. If I'm not mistaken, people can double check me on that. But it looks amazing. It, is a, it looks as visually stunning as something like Planet Earth did but with the kind of explanation and humor uh, and, and personality of the original Carl Sagan production. Now, and understand, he really has picked up the mantle of Carl Sagan, uh, the role of astronomer philosopher, astronomer poet, the ability to convey that which is too beautiful to quite understand with our stupid primitive minds. He has an ability to make you feel those things. And in that regard, he is truly one of, one of the greatest gifts to science and popular culture in our lifetime. He Would also has the to ability say? to be a bit of an elitist jackass on Twitter. So, uh, <laughs> let's just cut to it. Let's just. I mean, listen. <laughs> all these are. This is not. But this is and, right? He. None of this makes anything less true. He is the paragon of science for a modern age, like Carl Sagan was before him. He's indispensably important to everything. He can also be a bit of an elitist. <laughs> Pud. I like the I like the the path of caveat you're leaving in behind this you. Not, you're like listen, listen, listen not, I understand he's smarter takes away than me. from anything else, <laughs> right? But let's just say you spent a lot of time. You grew up in New York. I did grow up in New York. There's a certain breed of elitist New Yorker. Right? Sure, yeah. You know, yeah. it's just they exist. Yeah. And I believe. I, but I don't that think New York's alone. Places. I think it's everywhere. No, 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 yeah, no, no. yeah, but, but, but yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> They're special. In I've, New York. I've been on the Upper West Side. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm, I'm, because I'm here's with you. the thing. Here's the difference in New York: is that you have an elitist in Chicago who thinks that they are better than everybody in Chicago, okay. right? Elitists in New York think that, like, number one, society ends at Manhattan, well, and that the well, outside of Manhattan is a wasteland. Did you ever see the and outside of uh, into Jersey is literally radioactive? When I true story. Well, have you been to Jersey? I used to live in Jersey. And so get out of my face, all right? Uh, number two, like when I when I left my job in New York, yep. all my friends, including my employer, who was also my cousin, <laughs> talked to me like I was dying. <laughs> they would be like, "No, for, and this is not a joke. This is not me joking around, all right?" They, I, 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 I quit from my job. My cousin was my employer, and I said I was moving back to Florida, and he said, "But you have so much promise." <laughs> <laughs> you should have listened. 
why would you leave for this dog and pony show? A quote from my cousin to me, <laughs> right? And then all my friends, like afterward, it's like they were talking to the dead. They were like, like, you really could have been somebody. Like, because I left New York City. And I feel this is, I, I want, now, I, I said Okay, now here, here's, the, here's the thing, because I understand, you're 100% right. And it's like, it, you, I just feel like East Coast or West Coast, I come home to Texas and have to wipe the, the smug off and throw it into a bucket. But is Texas <laughs> just guilty of the same thing? Like, are we? No, are, no, no, no. Because no. no. Texas he says, is. He says wearing a t-shirt with Texas <laughs> Here's on. the difference with Texas. <laughs> the difference with Texas is Texans are kind of like Jews. Right. Oh, oh, I can't wait to hear this. Here's oh, why. This is... <laughs> Jews don't want you to join the religion. Correct, yeah. Full. Yep. We do our thing. We're great. We can't go to hell. We we hack the system of heaven. Uh, <laughs> I'd be and the you wouldn't know ones. what? Hey, you wouldn't like it. Yeah. We got this thing with the pork. You wouldn't like it, right? Yeah. But we're the best. Like, And that's what tech, the Texas thing is like, yay, Texas. And then if other people are like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, should I move there? You don't need to. We like us. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there are T-shirts in downtown Austin. One of the more popular designs is like, you know, welcome to Austin. Please don't move here. Yes. <laughs> <That's what it laughs> says. Exactly. But let's get back to New York City and let's get back to our dear friend Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was talking about. This is my <laughs> growing up view of the world. Exactly. No joke. Literally no joke. The Hudson River and then California. Yeah. That's pretty much, just pretty much that sums it up. That is, so there you go. That is exactly. I am guilty of that, yes. Exactly what it is. The, now, sou the South starts at the Verrazano Bridge. <laughs> Upstate starts at Yonkers. Sorry, all right, sorry. So, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Um, we're going to read some Neil deGrasse Tyson tweets. Uh, and I all want right, so, so, so do you have some, or are we going to ask people I, to send them no, over no, no, to no. us? No, 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 I've got them pulled up here, but Brian, uh, yeah. we're going we're to do this uh, uh, assembly line style. Okay. I need you to do the 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 chortle, the dismissive chortle, <laughs> all right? And then Ron, I want you to tag it with a plebeians. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and and, and, and I'll, we, we in the middle room to maneuver read, in here, right? And then I'll I mean, this read, is all... I'll read the tweet. Just I'll be the control, right? I'll read it straight, no voice. I won't sneer. I will just read the tweet, and it'll be sandwiched by the dismissive chortle and the plebeians. Okay. All right. Okay? All right. All right. So, and, and Brian, so, so whenever, you're just gonna read whenever you want to start. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> Felix Bumgardner's edge of space jump, if scaled to a schoolroom globe, begins one, one millimeter above its surface. I'm just saying. Plebeians. <laughs> that works better than I had expected it to. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix it up on my chortle. All right. <laughs> Uh, I think you ready? I've, uh, you got another yeah. one? I've got one, yeah. Mm. If Gridiron were a timeline with Big Bang, Big Bang at one goal, then Cavemen to Now spans the thickness of a single turf blade at the other goal. <laughs> Plebeians. <laughs> I added a little... It's good, I... Well, exhale. No, I feel, yeah. you, you, got, you got room. You got to own the space, man. Yeah. I, I feel like you, you got it. All right, here. In fact, I'm going to get a little... I'm going to get a little uh, thing. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Ready? Yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus. Scientology and astrology, just because you can append an ology to the word, does not make it based on objective reality. Plebeians. <laughs> All right. One more. One more here. Uh. <clears throat> <sighs> I only just figured this out. People who watch Animal Planet's Puppy Bowl would rather see dogs play football than humans. Plebeians. <laughs> Not bad. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like uh, that needs to be. <laughs> I don't probably should have read these mind. before. <laughs> <laughs> Thought we were gonna fly on it. Didn't work. You want to know no, what? Let's just totally forget this bit. <laughs> well, here, well, here's the problem: is that the more this bit goes, the more people, the more I worry that people are going to respond to him saying plebeians. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get and on his radar. You don't want to be on Neil Grass the Grass Tyson's radar. That's what, yeah. Oh, what yeah. is he gonna do? Sneer at us? <laughs> exactly. He's gonna put both hands on his hip and just go tut tut. 
Well, actually. Oh, but I'm going to kick both your asses. One in San Francisco, the other in Texas. What it will take me about 30 minutes crossing the GW? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh, all right, look, what else What else we got? We actually have some some real material here. Do so you, you, you want to pay a bill here before we go for him? Um, no, you want to know what? We're going to... I had a bit that was going to last the entire span of this segment that we're going to jam into 10 minutes. Are you ready? Okay. We're going to yep. supercharge right. this one. Ready. Uh, right now, or I think it probably ended about an hour ago, uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, and Ken Ham who is uh, uh, some kind of uh, administrator. Some, somebody. At, the anti-science uh, fellow. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the boo science, sir. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he actually runs the evolution uh, museum, or, you know, the anti-evolution museum. <laughs> the creationist museum in Cincinnati. Uh, they just had a debate. They debated evolution tonight. It was live on the internet. People were watching it, and they had uh, a, a time about it, right? They're solving the yes. evolution discussion, right, Brian? Uh, yes. Well, they solved it once and for all. Who won, by the way? I didn't catch the end of that game. Oh, I didn't see. Wait a minute. No. We're just getting this in. They didn't solve it. Uh, nothing was <laughs> oh, solved. No, no opinions were changed. But you want to know what? Man. It's because they were doing it wrong, Brian. If only they I... had asked us to structure the debate, we could have solved it. Because we're going to demonstrate it right here on this show okay. by solving another debate that is i think actually older than the debate about evolution well it's certainly more important than the debate about evolution oh like who cares <laughs> yeah, 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 ah, from a monkey. yeah uh come on let's settle a real debate a real debate iphone versus android oh <laughs> all right let's, this is the debate of the ages exactly so brian <laughs> you're gonna take the position of iphone and uh, and Ron, of course, host of All About Android, will be taking the position of Android. This is going to be a very classically styled Lincoln-Douglas debate. Okay. Of course, yeah. that is Ed Lincoln and Freaky Deaky Douglas, <laughs> two street <laughs> in St. Louis. Who I know Ed Lincoln. His yeah, Ed yeah, Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Freaky I'll, I'll tell you Deaky what, no, normally I would jump all in and try to dominate the field right from the beginning. I'm not going to do that. I want you to know that I'm going to play fair. Uh, Ron, uh, the floor is all yours. You could go first. The opening statement. All right. This, this is just... Your just opening go? statement. All right. Well, yeah. clearly, if you want an open platform that allows you to have innovation and to have control over your device and not have some cloud kind of folks in Cupertino deciding what is best for you, Android is the choice for you. That's good. Brian? You go to work in those clothes? That's how you dress and you go to work. <laughs> the hell is this? I mean, is it, am I really wasting my time with this? Is this really what? Do I have to answer any of this? The floor is yours. <laughs> All right. Pretty good. Now you will both reiterate your opening arguments, whispering and go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is yours. Just go. <laughs> I like the way I'm dressed. Just whisper. <laughs> whisper. Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna flip it around. Brian, you whisper your next <laughs> argument. Jesus. I mean, it's, it's, no wonder he's not in Vision 3 anymore. I can't even form a sentence. I'm okay, now Ron, you get shirt. personal about Brian. Whisper it. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> what's the whispering? <laughs> Well, clearly, he finally got a haircut. Boom, in your face. All right, now switch <laughs> positions. Brian, you defend Android. <clears throat> I don't know. I love crappy things. I eat a turd every day for breakfast, and uh, I, I fling my own poop at the wall, then smear my face all up on it. I bang my head till it bleeds, and then I try to infect it, and uh, I'm sterile. I all like right. Android. And go, you defend iPhone. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was too busy following a crowd. Oh! Shots, Shots fired! fired. <laughs> All right. Now, Ron, you do your argument as an obnoxious, stereotypical New Yorker. <laughs> well, if I had to choose one, if twist my arm, if I had to choose one platform that gives me the best value, you know, because I'm paying a lot for rent, 
I gotta go with Android because I can choose from my phones and it gives me the 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 the, uh, the options I'm looking for. Nobody beats but the Wiz, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Yeah. You go ahead you know and give Actually, him your rebuttal as a as a drunk stereotypical Texan. Give him a real uh, shiner buck. Oh hell, man! Look, I just got this tweet. It says here, I just realized all the good scientists are using Android plebeians. All right, now you start humming. <laughs> we have to express our hum, positions hum, in humming. Hum. <laughs> beer, beer, I'm better beer. than Brian. <laughs> There you go. No, keep going, keep going, keep going. Well, <laughs> <laughs> beer, 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 beer. <laughs> Brian, keep on, come on, go on. <laughs> Hold on. This has been the greatest debate ever. I feel like we've solved this discussion, Wait. which is why we Wait. can now move on to Squarespace. My web search turned us up. <laughs> I actually, it says here, iRobot Corporation, robots that make a difference, was the result of our search of our hum. What did your Android find? Uh, I found Squarespace, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Squarespace, Squarespace is the greatest, the greatest websites known to man. Uh, true fact, Squarespace got a, uh, they got a Super Bowl ad. Several. Dude, did you say, that was a little bit, you know what's funny is I told Bonnie, I was like, we were out uh, having dinner, and I was like, wow, that's a Squarespace ad. Squarespace can now afford to pay for an ad on the Super Bowl. I don't know why. And uh, Bonnie was why? like, that's amazing, because normally you would never think a technology company could afford an ad on the Super Bowl. And then I had to kind of take her on a list of all the tech companies that buy ads. All the tech companies that have gone bankrupt the Super buying Super Bowl ads. Was monster ads. I, I, I didn't want to just... put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Monster.com, pets.com. Yep. Uh, so here, I don't know why they needed to, Brian. Why? Well, no, I'll tell you why they did Look, here's why. Because they're making so many people goddamn happy with the fact that they have the single best platform for blogs, portfolios, any kind of website. Automatically scales all your photos so you could even audit. So dumb an Android could use it is their new model. <laughs> now, you want an Android? Don't worry. Ouch. We'll slow it down for you. Squarespace. I mean, but Brian, like, I don't want to spend a billion dollars. My name isn't Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, well, guess, guess what? It's a racist, by the way. <laughs> he was Scottish. Uh, I mean, the, uh, listen, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one who thought that Scrooge McDuck had a drinking problem? <laughs> you get that he, was, he was drunk on all the savings he got from Squarespace.com. Squarespace.com has fast, cheap, easy, reliable plans where you can look like a total badass. You can make a tribute size to your, your perverse Scrooge McDuck. But Brian, I don't want to have a website that I also then have to go and buy hosting for. Where uh, will well, I host this Squarespace website? You, you, you can host it with Squarespace. You know what? They even have e-commerce solutions. So you can get as rich as Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> But why will it look pretty? Because they have the finest designers in the business, Justin. These are artisans and artists who will make you look like you're talented. And we all know it's a lie. We all know that you're not actually able to know what an H, a T, an M, or an L is. But it doesn't matter. This is the beautiful promise of the 21st century. We'll all be idiots and none of us will know us. None, none of us will know it. Take but two. what if Squarespace decides that skee-ball is more interesting than making websites? Will they ever stop improving their platform? Well, then you're pretty much screwed. But luckily, that won't, won't happen. Ah! <laughs> you, 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 you hooked me, and then you punched me right in the face. That's what we call black market fishing. <laughs> Black market fission. That's where I split your expectations in half, my friend. <laughs> uh, Brian, I heard a wind in the willows that told me you could start a free two-week <laughs> trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use your offer code NSFW2 to get 10% off and show your support for NSFW. We'd like to thank Squarespace for their support of NSFW, Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website. And then the wind stopped. Man, that is a very specific Through message the from the wind that you receive. And, and that was it. 
and then it was dust. <laughs> right on, man. Right on. Uh, Brian, uh, do you have any more yeah. tweets that are coming in to uh, Nat Geo? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they're about other shows. Uh, but actually, there was a couple of good ones. Let's see. Um, can't wait to see hacking the system. Anyway, just a heads up. Uh, nope, never mind. Um, bunch of congrats. My favorite is Ryan Alcott rocking the uh, the Ron Paul It's Happening animated GIF, which makes me very happy. Uh, and so far, so good. Wait, old John Smokey, who I thought was dead. Does Nat Geo Channel need theme music? For hacking the things. <laughs> Consider spoons. Thank you, old John Smokey. Uh, John Tilton pipes up to say huge congrats. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's pretty awesome seeing all these. Well, uh, you're going to, I mean, listen, you're going to be a big television star. And, uh, you know, I, I think you, you need, it's about time that you started thinking smart, you mm. know, because right now mm. you're doing a lot of dumb thinking. Yeah, Does that makes no, sense. No, I do that. Like you're, no, you're not I, thinking well, like a smart person. You're thinking like an idiot. You know, that's what my daughters call me a lot to my face in social <laughs> gatherings when the family's around. Uh, I always thought it was a term of en endearment. So like when you not. get because you just went on a big vacation with your wife Bonnie, right? I'm sure they mm. the door opened uh, and and they ran up to mommy, 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 you're back, and they looked at you and said, "Oh, you brought idiot too." <laughs> And I was like, that's right, uh, daddy is here. And then it's like they haven't, da daddy dot is what I thought they were saying. Like dad e yacht, but it's no. not, that's not what they're saying. They were just saying, the idiot. <laughs> yeah. <The> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they're not saying daddy dot? No, ah, no, it. no. They have a rap. It's huge. They, uh, <laughs> they call it the idiot. It's big right. with the, it's big in the clubs. It's where a, where a, is a this going, anthem. by the way? <laughs> Here's the deal. Um, I, I I want I'm looking out for you. Uh, Ron works for like I mentioned before, Image Comics. I do now, right? Yep. You guys are. Uh, I mean, especially with like The Walking Dead, safeguarding some of the most uh, attractive IP in in the country right now. Everybody's crazy for that story, and mm -hmm. and there's and news stories are coming out uh, regularly through Image. Um, well, I wanted to get you just, uh, you know, now that Ron's here, some good legal advice. Um, so you can ask all the questions that I know that you, you haven't been able to ask, uh, since you, you haven't been able to be out there publicly with the, uh, with the project. So sure, sure, sure. Okay. I, I know this is great. Uh, so, so I'm asking Ron, Ron's going to give this advice. That's what's going on. No, it actually turns out that, um, that somebody who is a friend of ours is also a friend of Ron's. Mm. I didn't know he also consulted. For, for Image Comics. Oh, um, no, 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 that's right. No, I know that. And, and, and he and Ron go back a while. They, they go back to New York, actually, yeah, if no, I'm not yeah. mistaken. Back that's the where they, they first met each other. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, it's 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 Ira, Ira Sockman. Uh, Ira Sockman is here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what? <laughs> this is great. Yeah, Ira, how, how you doing, buddy? Oh, hi, Brian. It's it's great <laughs> to see you. It's uh, It's a real pleasure. <laughs> It's so weird, to, man. It's like you creep up, and all of a sudden, Justin's like, like, like finding nickels underneath the couch. Um, <laughs> oh no, hey no, man, no, listen. sorry, Justin. Uh, Justin just had to go. I mean, I mean, who cares? Whatever. Dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So look, here's the thing. Uh, both both Ron and I have a lot of questions. You know, uh, hacking the system is all about uh, you know clever hacks that you can pull. Some of them belong to criminals, and you want to avoid. Others are ones that um, uh, that you can use legally to get ahead. Uh, what, what are some of the pitfalls that I should be worried about? Am I on the hook li liability-wise for any of this? Oh my God, yes. Um, <laughs> number one, this is all illegal. Let's start there, okay? Uh, you are putting yourself in what we like to call in the legal profession, a real ass-poking probabilities matrix. <laughs> An ass-poking probabilities matrix, that, that, that's a legal term. Uh, yes, Well, which means that uh, it's an ass poking that's really good on the first installment and then gets progressively longer and more boring afterward. I, I, now, maybe it's because I'm not from New York. Uh, Ron, can you, can you translate what this means to me? I mean, I, no, because I talked to a lawyer <laughs> once and he didn't sound like Ira at all. I mean, Ira and I do go way back and-, and... Oh, Of course, Ron, listen, me and Ron go way, way, way back. Uh, he's the, I, I advised him. He initially wanted to call iFanboy 
Batman, Superman, DC, Marvel. <laughs> yes, that was the original plan for iFanboy. That was it yep. was, and I said, no, yep. don't do that. That's that's illegal. Yes, you you're gonna get sued, Ron. And he said, I'm drunk and high, <laughs> and broke a whiskey bottle over his head. And I said, okay, fine. Uh, and then we just settled on iFanboy. <laughs> And after an exhaustive <laughs> trademark search that Ira headed up. I did, I did. There was a lot of other things that were also called iFanboy. Uh, there was uh, a a series of uh, Indians. Um, <laughs> dot, not feather. Um, they, they, they called themselves the art, the air conditioning Indians. So they had registered the website no, iFanboy. It was, yeah, it was I for Indians. <laughs> Indian yes, fanboys, and they, they, were, boys, and they, they were like loved they were keeping yeah. you cool, right? Yeah, because yeah. They, yeah, they keeping it cool was their motto. <laughs> Did you see that? That was it was a show. <laughs> I, rep no, I represented no. them too, Rajneesh. No. And Ed. Now, now, when back in the days when he was doing social media coordination for Revision 3, I would oh, imagine that there's, there's a By wide... the way, Ron, you did a great job. Thank no one's you, ever Ira. done it better. Thank you, Ira. Well, I learned every... I mean, I, what, Ira was one of the first... He told me about Twitter back in 06. I did. He's I like, actually was the... I was in-house legal counsel for Twitter. Exactly, yep. They initially wanted to call it MySpace Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> My Space Facebook. No, yes, it was... Uh, Hey, Facebook stinks. Use this. That was what they wanted to call it at first. And then I said, what about Twitter? And they said, OK. <laughs> so no, no, wait, 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 wait. you know, I assume, all the ghosts, all the, the skeletons in the closet for, for Ron. Is there something that maybe Ron, you know, would be uncomfortable bragging about, you know, himself, but that you might know a good tale? Oh, my God. Number one, he, uh, all right, Ron, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm, I'm an open book, Ira. I'm an open oh my book. God, you! I, it's been so long. It's been so good. It's so good to see. Look at you. Look at you. Oh my you God. You look so good. All right. <laughs> the first, the two skeletons in his closet. Okay. The first, he loves jelly beans. Oh my God. <laughs> Guilty. Can't get enough. Guilty. Loves them so much. The second skeleton is named Anita. She's a Mexican hooker that's decomposing what? in his closet. Ira, statute of limitations. Oh, oh, I know. I know, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Her name was Elise. <laughs> Can, is so, this uh, admissible, Ira? No. No? no. Okay, this is this all hearsay. This is what falls into the podcasting loophole. This is hearsay, If a right? podcast gets under 10,000 views consistently for a year, <laughs> that means it's not admissible in court. <laughs> this is this is an astonishing revelation. So so what else can you do if you're in one of these unique positions for a podcast? I don't well Brian, no, go ahead and try it out for yourself. This is a fun little at home trial. Admit something uh, that illegal uh, that you've done. Um one time I threw a cat at a dog that I kicked into a, a, a zoo. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Disgusting. I did it wrong. That's disgusting. I didn't even know why I'm here. That's gross. That's gross. Was it, was that and you're gross. And I don't even know why I want to run. Is this who you associate with? Dog punch kickers who throw them at each other? <laughs> we, we've all made mistakes. You know that. You, you, oh you've made God. mistakes. How could I stay mad at this guy? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, oh, jeez. Right, it just takes me back. And what? don't get him mad, by the way. Don't get him oh, mad. Yeah. What, Just what ask Elise. Then, what yeah, no, no, who, who's Elise? A Mexican hooker decomposing. Come on, Brian. It's a callback. The skeleton. Jesus Christ. The skeleton. Oh, sorry. Oh. It's, uh, I was, uh, yes, you, you lost We're me. We're moving there for a fast, second. Brian. <laughs> I, I can tell faster than I'm prepared for. Uh, look, you I say mean, don't get Brian, mad. Brian, I need, I need your legal queries. And, uh, okay. Ask me your legal queries, and I will do my best to answer them. <clears throat> All right. Uh, in. One of the, as we read in in the description for hacking the system, there there seems to be a segment in which I attempt. By the to way, I loved Matthew Lillard in your show. <laughs> Ma <laughs> Matthew Lillard, serial killer. That was his name, right, Matthew Lillard? <laughs> so, uh, you, uh, Captain Murphy? Are you talking about? Uh, no, no, you're talking about Angelina Jolie. I, I, am I? Yeah. In your show, <laughs> uh, Ira, have you have you been drink drinking? No, you. All right, somebody got the joke. Just go ahead. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> uh, the point is, is that according to this press release, the, uh, the 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 show seems to have a segment where I seem to circumvent the law. Is 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 uh, anything I should be worried about there? No, absolutely not. Because you could use a word like circumvent. Here's a fun little legal fact: if you ever find okay. yourself breaking the law, use a word that gets over a hundred points in Scrabble. <laughs> oh, I see. So like uh, uh, zygote would be exactly. one, right? That, Brian, you're right on. You're doing great right now. You really, you're on fire. Um, if you just go to the go to the judge, and he'll yeah. say, "How do you explain this murder?" And then you say, "Well, I've wanted to murder since I was a Z Y G O T E, and one of those spaces was double points." And he'll double, say, "Triple word score, yeah." And he'll say, "Uh, okay, mm, let me look." Uh, uh, um, <laughs> yep, okay, it's legit, pencil? and they'll let, let you write out. How do you think O.J. Simpson got off? Yeah, it, that guy murdered two man. people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, I got to go. Brian, I love All you. Right, wait, have wait, a great wait, job. Wait, one, more, one more quick thing. Have you, have you represented Neil deGrasse Tyson at any time? Uh, uh, yes. No, I, I, I actually uh, I, I, I represented his, his brother. Oh, his brother? What's his brother's name? Uh, his brother's name is Julio deGrasse Tyson. All right, now, now, what does Julio know? I, I know that Neil deGrasse Tyson, of course, famous astrophysicist slash poet. What does Julio do? Um, Julio is actually a very interesting guy. He is, he's also an astrophysicist, but he uh, capitalizes A-S-S -S at the beginning. <laughs> oh, is, 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 he, is, he a, is he a porn star? No, no. He just makes you shake that ass. Astrophysicist. <laughs> Wait. Now, wait, this is a job. You could actually go Julio around making people shake. Tyson in the house, shake your ass. That's, he just says that when he walks into a, a room. Look, but he's not, he's not a rap artist? No, no, no. He's just a guy. <laughs> he's just a guy who walks into a room and tells people to shake their ass. Yeah, Julio deGrasse Tyson in the house, shake that ass. He says the whole thing. Every time now, and, and is it age appropriate or, or like the, just it doesn't matter? He's now a state Supreme Court justice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the Honorable Julio deGrasse Tyson in the house. Shake that ass. <laughs> is that what the bailiffs have to say when he walks in? Uh, that's what the ladies say. Oh, the ladies. They just say that automatically. All the ladies say, oh, <laughs> that's what the bailiff says. Uh, well, I'll tell you. I, mean, I know you got a lot of a lot of stuff to do. Any any parting shots of wisdom that you'd like to give to to Ron Richards before you head on out? Ron, please, Ira, I need it. I need I two two pieces of advice. Number one, keep smiling. Number right. two, <laughs> for God's sakes, erase this tape. I should have never mentioned Elise. That's that's on me. That's on me. I owe you for that. Run to the border, Ron. You'll never get away with this. Bye, All right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Ira Sockman with some uh, with some amazing wisdom regarding Julio deGrasse Tyson, <laughs> and it seems like now is as good a time as any for us to uh, I don't know pay a bill. Hey Ron, yo Ron, yeah Brian, you, you Mr. All About Android, I bet you love uh, early termination fees and being trapped in contracts. That's the only way I can imagine that you would be somebody who would have an Android. I actually hate them because with my Nexus phone, Nexus 5, it's unlocked and I can go wherever I like. So Yeah, uh, well, well maybe good you for you. Try Guess out what? A little something we like to call Ting. I would love to try some Ting. <laughs> saying. Here's the deal with Ting. Um, they're they're sick and tired of you languishing in uh, the the uh, iron curtain of a contract of a loveless marriage. Uh, you hate your carrier. You go to sleep angry. Uh, you're just staying together for the rollover minutes. Enough. You need to be happy for you, okay? And Ting's here. It's no BS mobile service. No I mean, BS. So if I you were holding, you sign up like I want, I want me some BS. Mm -hmm. Nope. No. Get out. Seriously, get the hell out of here. Yeah. I get out if you want BS because we don't have it here. <laughs> Veronica is not a fan of it. Uh, Ting is an MBNO reseller of the Nationwide Sprint Network. Anything in Sprint is, Ting is too. So, number one, you're already rocking and rolling right there. Superior pricing, because their rates just got better, Brian. 
Ting has received better pricing from Sprint and wants to share the savings directly with their customers. Nothing fancy, just better rates and lower monthly bills for everybody. If you've already tried Ting's savings calculator to see how much you can save, go ahead and do it again. Because now it's going to be lower. How low what? can you go? Get low, get low, make your savings <laughs> and your knees touch your elbows. That's what they want you to do. All right? As always, Ting has no contracts, and you only pay for what you use each month with megabytes, messages, and minutes all billed separately. No contracts or ETFs. Uh, no mysterious line items on their bill. Hey, listen, and by the way, I don't need Tim Tebow running around to tell you that they, you That's can operate sure. without a contract, all right? Ting is secure in and of itself. They can get other crappy Jets quarterbacks. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not like they're not like the, the insecure boyfriend. They're like, hey man, no. you're gonna go out with me? You better lock it in for two they years. They're gonna bro. go out and get Bernie Kosar to talk about Ting. <laughs> no, they don't yeah. have to. Vinny Testaverde. Vinny Testaverde. Uh, so here's the deal: you purchase your mobile device uh, from Ting, which you will receive within five to uh, two to five business days, or you can bring over your favorite uh, Sprint phone to Ting, like the iPhone 4 and 4S. Uh, Ting will even help you turn your old <laughs> device into cash. Uh, to help with your move to Ting, after you activate your device with Ting and you have the option to select a new phone number or port an existing one, Ting will break your rates up by minutes, text messages, and megabytes and bill you at the end for only what you've used. Brian, this is what we like to yeah, call in the business, the call to action. Yeah. So I want you oh, to yes, cup you your hands call? around your mouth right. and scream <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. Ready? <clears throat> NSFW.ting.com. Save money and better manage your mobile phone usage with Ting. Check out their savings calculator to see how much you or your company can save. NSFW viewers can save $25 on the first Ting device when you sign up. Visit NSFW.ting.com and start saving today. Man, they get their, they get their money's worth out of us, Justin, because we tell the truth. The truth. All we don't even have time for a TH. We put an F on there. We save time and money. So, Ron, what are you up to? Oh, <laughs> just <laughs> contemplating Ting. <laughs> getting that, getting, hey, uh, getting that can, can I ask some serious stuff, Tom? Or Tom? <laughs> Ron? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I, got, I can't uh, fill those I got shoes. To, oh, oh, I got, to, oh, <laughs> I got, I got Ting on the mind. It's so everything's <laughs> like, uh, like Tear uh, Tom. <laughs> Uh, you put no, on no, those no. shoes, I, they I do have light a... on fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when you hit the floor. Oh. I do, I do have a question. Like, uh, when you went to Image Comics, it was, in so many ways, it sounded overwhelming. You, of course, being a major, you know, the ultimate iFanboy, and a huge fan of everything Image is doing. How long have you been there? Like, a year now? It's Yeah, it's just about, it was just about a year, I think, like, two weeks ago. Are you yeah. over the novelty of it yet? Have you, like, like I don't know, is there some part of you that still geeks out? Like, and, and I'm not going to lie, it's been like seven years now. And when the phone rings and it's Martin Sargent, I'm like, it's Martin Sargent calling me. And, uh, like, like, is there some part of you that still has that experience? Are you still fanboying out? Oh, every morning, every day. Literally. Like really? We, oh, yeah, absolutely. You crazy? We... we because I don't if you if you read the image comics you, if you open up the inside front cover there's what we call the masthead and that's got our little yeah. it's got all the creator information who 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 wrote the book who drew it all stuff like that and then down an itty bitty font down the lower corner it's it's got the image logo and it's got uh, the names of the founders you know it's got like Todd McFarlane and 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 Eric Larson and Jim Valentino Mark Silvestri these guys who were like my gods yeah. in the early 90s and then it's got uh, Eric Stevenson who's our publisher who's who's fantastic and then my name and it's just like one of these things does not belong Wait, what do you do? Now, now how did <laughs> how do you get your name next to those people <laughs> cuz i i help I'm, i i run business development so i i do a little bit of everything so yeah do do you, know. do you have that uh, what's that what's that syndrome where you're constantly believing that you're a fraud at all times oh yeah no honestly it's it's like it's like how how long till someone figures it out you know yeah but um i i think but that's that's life, right? Well, if, that's, every, like, that's you, every episode of All About Android. If you, don't, if you don't think, I mean, I know I am a fraud who yeah. is perpetrating a lie upon the general public. Brian knows he's a fraud who's about to, if, you know, completely uh, fraudulently get on the airwaves of the National Geographic Channel February yeah. 27th on uh, Hack the System. Hacking the system. Hacking yeah. the system. Get it right. Present tense. I didn't, it's not something I used to do, man. I ain't talking about how I used to hack systems. I'm, cu I'm currently hacking the system. Duly noted. <laughs> uh, but if, if you don't 
think like that, then I feel like you are a jerk. I feel like that's, oh, yeah. that's, the, that's the switch that flips where you're like, well, of course I am. You need to, you Felix need to be Bumgard. You need to be on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to be on the edge of teetering between total failure and total success. That's yeah. what keeps you kind of, you know, hungry and keeps you kind of like with, you know. Well, and like, at least for me. And understanding and just reevaluating what you want. And and like <laughs> now, we're like, now we're talking about feelings. Yeah. You need to you need to you need you to look need inside. To know, you need to you know, you gotta you gotta win from the inside out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A sock told me that about <laughs> five seconds ago. From the inside him. out, yeah, right? I had to yeah. go to the bathroom earlier. Dude. Thank, I'm sorry for covering me, you know, when uh, so I had to run away. Uh, well, all right, so what do you have working at Image right now? I, it's it's nonstop. It's uh, you said you were going to be in Atlanta for. I'm going to be in Atlanta right? for for a meeting for an industry. There's a meeting with comic book retailers that I get to go to to nice. go. I get to talk to the retail the guys in the comic book store who sell the comics. Uh, they like to yell at me. Because uh, well, no, actually, I'll be I'll be quite honest. I mean, the joke is is that whenever they have a problem, I'm their main contact to kind of complain. But they're actually awesome, and and we're very lucky that they don't we don't give them much to complain about. So, it seems like yeah. at this point, the comic book the the comic book retail industry, there is kind of an, we're all in this together. Because yeah, everybody has a vested from publisher to retailer has a vested interest in everybody keeping their phony baloney job. Exactly, right? and and two things that are that make my job that much easier is that one is that it's a very good time for comic books. Um, the sales are up and more people, you know, like it's been, it's a, it's a good time. Yeah. But now, then also now, uh, tell me this, Ron, and you probably know this as an insider, is it a case where it's, uh, the rich are getting richer? Like if you're one of the old Silver Age Marvel titles that you're sucking up all the air in the comics world or, or is indie and new developing Titles doing really well. No, I, I think I think now. I mean, it's tough because the Indian, the developing, the really kind of you know DIY kind of smaller kind of small presses. It's that's still very hard. But there are things like Kickstarter and there are things like you know like you know social media and stuff like that. That web comics and all that stuff that really helps those kind of folks. But right now, I mean, you know, Middle Marvel and DC are kind of the fat cats, the two kind of the the corporate back kind of thing. But you know, we're we're doing Image is doing great. We're you know people have been making kind of jokes and references around this new year that it's. It, we used to call Marvel and DC the big two, and now they're calling it the big three and including Image in that, which I think is a little hyperbole. But, well, you know, but, I'll, I'll tell you uh, what. Here's the one thing that you, the, the great leveling playing field, because yeah. Walking Dead was a successful comic with a fan base, yep. and then it became a global phenomenon. Yep. And, and Yeah, man. You know, like, and that is one television show away. That it's is my, one other mass market megaphone away from happening to literally... Any comic book property. My my, fav my favorite was at the New York Comic Con this past October. If anybody's been to San Diego Comic Con or New York Comic Con, you saw we have a very large booth that we bring, and it's a got a twenty foot wall, and it's got an enormous Walking Dead amazing art by Charlie Adlard, like this big wide panoramic view of all the characters and stuff like that. And it's literally like the, the art piece, I think is like 16 feet high by 40 feet long. And so we're standing there in our booth and a dad comes over with his two kids and looks at the booth. He goes, look kids, this is all from a TV show. <laughs> we're just like, no. <laughs> No. Uh, but is you there somebody that's that smarting over that? As yeah. wrong-headed as he is, yep. is closer to buying your comic oh, yeah, then, yeah, than yeah, anybody yeah, yeah, ever yeah, exactly. would. Yeah, exactly. And, and the, the, guy, the guy who thinks that, that, that like, oh, and look, the crass comic tie-in right. to, uh, <laughs> you know, the television show, way to make a buck image. <laughs> you know, like... That dude is closer to buying your comic than, yeah. than anybody else would have worked. Yeah, and and the fa I mean the fact that the I mean the Walking Dead celebrating its tenth anniversary and it was the number one single issue of last year in terms of sales. Like the Walking Dead number one fifteen beat. Holy crap! Yeah, you beat just Superman. Blew my brains beat, out. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the fact that it's ten years. The first time I got uh, I got the first Walking Dead trade was a gift from uh, I, from Corey Coleman of Spill.com uh, formerly, and now of whatever his new thing's gonna be called. He uh, gave it to me on my 30th birthday, which now I feel like, crap, that was nine years ago. Uh, and uh, and uh, I was blown away from that from that first trade and, and did all the trades and then started going issue by issue. I can't believe that's already been 10 years. That's it's amazing. It's been 10 years. We're getting ready to release volume 20 of the trade that's coming out in March. Um, it's crazy. I uh, mean, it, 
it's awesome. I mean, like, don't, I mean, it, it's true. Like, a lot we create. You guys create content. You got your little mm -hmm. show here and stuff like that. You're doing your little YouTube you're doing videos. The thing. Yeah, exactly. It's nice. But it, it's, it's good for you. <laughs> it's very good. It's great to see that that somebody's like Robert Kirkman's singular vision of The Walking Dead could be brought to life and become this big thing. And the great thing is, is that Image, we're not just The Walking Dead. I mean, like, it's no. uh, it's there's so many other creators who are doing their little thing that they want to do and, I mean, and has, reaching people. It has an amazing legacy, and yeah. obviously, like, yeah. the founders kind of bear yeah. to that. I mean, some of the most uh, iconic independent voices in, in or not independent, but, yeah. uh, you know, forming no, a kind independent. of independent brand. Absolutely but independent. Yeah, yeah we uh, embrace that independence. You know, and, and uh, uh, hey, it's, uh, it's speaking it's of independent. Past, great future. Like, like, uh, just real quick, uh, Ron, I, I'm sure you have nice things to say about it, but you got to read Brett the Amtrak of uh The Provider, right? Yeah, yeah, that was very good, yeah. I, I gave Brett some feedback and, and kind of helped him with, you know, kind of with his project and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it was really good. And I love, I love seeing people saying, hey, I've got this idea, I want to make it happen. And, I guess that's yeah. one of the exciting things, and, and it's not just in comic books, but in podcasting and broadcasting. Like, there's never been a more efficient market to be a person with a voice and idea to reach everyone in the planet with whom that will resonate than, yeah. than, than now. I mean, it's amazing. It's like one idea. I mean, you know, Kirkman just had this idea that 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 totally transformed everything. Well, even even Real better, and, and I see the someone in the chat room is talking about it as well too. But uh, we do we publish a book called which I think you guys would enjoy. Which Brian, if you're not reading, I, I'll hook you up with. Um, it's called Sex Criminals. And I mean, what? Yeah. Um, well, look but, at me. I look more like somebody who would enjoy something called would. Sex Criminals. You would. I think you would. No, but I mean, it, talk about a great. Pre I mean, the premise is a couple who, when they have sex, when they get off, they stop time. And so they decide to rob banks, like right there, boom, boom. You know, and it's and it's a comedy. Matt Fraction, who's done a bunch, a bunch yeah. of stuff at Marvel and is kind of a big name, he's writing it. And this guy Chip Zdarsky in uh, Canada, who you might have read about in BuzzFeed, he was the guy who made friends with Applebee's. Did you oh, see that article? Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah. I didn't oh, see that. Yeah, Chip is hysterical. He he befriended a local Applebee's on Facebook. And proceeded to have a, about a month of exchanges um, that were hysterical. It was all it, it, uh, it was on NPR and all yeah. this stuff. I covered all these people covered it. But um, but yeah, that's a well, what, what did he do? Did he become like a, like obsessive? Or? No, no, no. That's the thing. That's what, what, the that's, what that's what was genius. Was that was that um, it, it, he was just totally normal. Basically, what happened was that he saw. And I feel bad. I'm telling his story. But if you go online, if you search Chip Zdarsky and call him up. Yeah, no. <laughs> but um, no, but it, uh, what he did was he saw his parents on Facebook both liked a photo that the local Applebee's, not talking corporate Applebee's, but it was like at Applebee's in Florida. There's someone at Applebee's, Stacy at Applebee's is running their yes. Facebook page. Yeah. And she's like posted a picture of a burger and both his parents liked it. And he went and looked and was like, oh, and he just saw this Applebee's, somebody trying, doing really the social hard. media thing yeah. and nobody responding, nobody giving anything. So he was just like, all right, I'm going to I'm going to respond and so they'd be like so Applebee's would post what are you going to have for dinner tonight might we suggest a steak and he'd write back he's like no nah, I'm not in the mood for steak and then <laughs> and then they, they write this <laughs> but it's like and, it's like for for the person who's running it yes, running the social media they, it's engagement they, they want to yeah. like just Always have the answer. Yeah, exactly. Always yeah. be able to keep it going. And then next thing you know, like that post has like 19 like right. comments on a steak. You, right? know, you know that Stacy at Applebee's in Florida was just like, oh, I'm on to something, and I'm gonna, you know, call, and it went on and on and on, and it was. This sounds yeah. like a tastier version of her. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Uh, no, but that's uh, it's 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 awesome that there are so many uh, amazing. Uh, right now, I mean, like yeah. uh, comics, it, it feels like is 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 going through not only from the independent side and having the the like the prosumer yeah. level. Here it is. Of uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What an early bird entree are you thinking about ordering today? <laughs> the worm. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it? <laughs> it just and it just it was just it just it was genius. Chip is one of the most unique people. Like, are you eating your wings with or without a fork? Eh, not eating wings today. <laughs> How about tomorrow? I have a doctor's appointment. <laughs> just like seven ounce or nine ounce of house steak. I get the nine ounce and then ask for two ounces of it to take home. <laughs> See, Thank that's you. a great idea. Like it just <laughs> it really it, it became a thing. So, but uh, uh, but no, that's that's. But th th this is an example of someone who's a little wacky and you know 
their book, Sex Criminals, couldn't be done at any other publisher. I yeah. mean, I mean, it probably could be done at another publisher, but at Image, we have the opportunity to take their vision, and we don't, you know, there's no, we it's don't have editors. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I love this comment. I know that the mayor of Toronto says he has, quote, plenty to eat at home, but I say you can't go wrong eating at Applebee's, LOL. And then, sorry, didn't mean to get political. And then Applebee's tries to change the conversation. You see, like, did you ever order this? <laughs> I like him say, he says, no, I'm not allowed to have that much cheese, according to my, quote, <laughs> wife. <laughs> well, why would he put wife in quotes? And then the Applebee's, we're sorry. And then Chip says, uh, you have nothing to apologize for, Applebee's, ever. <laughs> Are you dressing up for Halloween? First comment, <laughs> yes! <laughs> but then also look at it, just one like. Just Kate Stewart liked it. Like, this is... It's just, <laughs> oh, it's, it's really genius. But <laughs> Wow, looks delicious. Is something like this okay for me to eat as I've been sober for 13 years now? <laughs> But then, do you want to eat? Do you then, because it, it's a whiskey chipotle chicken steak. <laughs> and then look at look at the way they back off. Just a moment, they're like, we can't make that decision for you. Sorry. <laughs> but what's great is that is that if you if you scroll down all the way to the bottom of this, I think they ran a cover that we ran of Sex Criminals when we reprinted. Yeah. So scroll back up. This was actually a reprinting cover of the first issue. This is the fourth printing. That's great. And Matt and Chip decided to put themselves on it in this pose. That's like, amazing. <laughs> yeah, and then scroll a little up in the top of it, on the top of that, it says here, from the guy who talks to Applebee's on Facebook. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah. That's amazing, dude. Yeah, it's good times. So I, I strongly recommend that book, but that, that's another. You're right. I mean, it's we're we're in a bit of a creative renaissance where it's kind of and and you know, really on all levels. Yeah. You know, it, it's it, from the guy who just wants to write a comic and get it up. I mean, yep. if you if you want to wait 15 years, you can get it on Comicsology. <laughs> uh, you know, you can uh, you have these great imprints like uh, like Image, but then also you know Marvel and DC what? have these all these new avenues with television and movies. Oh with, yeah, no, I mean the. the the, I know this is a little more into cord cutters territory, but the yeah. Marvel Netflix thing is gonna. I mean, that's gonna be really interesting huge. to see how that comes. Yeah, yeah. Billy so. Fusillo, huge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, uh, I'm I'm very excited, and it's great that you mean that you're doing so so good out there. I know we're that trying. Was a dream job for you, you know. Wait, well, we're trying. I mean, well, it, I'll tell you what. I don't care how good those Marvel movies are on the Netflix. I say don't cut the cord. I say sign up for cable today. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't be able to see. Hacking the system coming up on February 27th, an hour from 8, 8 Central, 9 Eastern. Doesn't Cord Cutters have right now the front page of iTunes a how to cut the cord special? And I know. In explicit I say, detail how to that. cut the cord. No. I say it's a lie. That's a that's a previous life, bro. <laughs> now I'm telling the truth. And the truth is that there are very reasonable introduction packages available with, from Comcast, from Time Warner Cable, from AT&T. <laughs> All of them allow you to sign up for the fantastic programming at National Geographic Channel. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. You guys have a Patreon where you're racking in like thousands of dollars an episode so people can hear about how you, a hero, really the Johnny Appleseed, <laughs> cutting cords everywhere you go. Uh, is this a conflict? Uh, look, uh, appearances can be deceiving, which is a fantastic segment we have on hacking the system <laughs> when you can be fooled by the way things look. It's awkward. You should just have a plugging back in special. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right, two weeks from now, it's like, just kidding, go ahead, plug back in. Cord retires. Brian with a gif, a gif of, of like electrical tape Wait. over a cord that just goes infinitely. Blowing the dust off a cable box, just yeah. kind of, you know. Yeah, I, I feel like I need to give him a template. Oh, let me give, let me give you a clean template. You just go in and do... <laughs> there, there you go. Uh, no charge. All right, uh, Ron, where can people find you? You can find me, you can find me at about.me slash ronxo. That's where I got all my links to the Twitters and the Facebooks and all that fun stuff. And uh, watch my other wonderful endeavor with uh, my good friend Jason Howell and Gina Trapani here on the Twit Network. Watch all about Android. Triple A. If you are an Android user, it's your weekly source of news and reviews. And I don't know the rest of the intro. Jason has it memorized. I don't. Uh, but yeah, that's right here on Twit.
Um, and then also Image, Image Comics at ImageComics.com, where we have DRM-free comics that you can download and, and read. Uh, let me just say this about all that Android, and I have the pleasure of watching it. Uh, you get you get like the last fifteen minutes every week. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes more if I'm if yeah. I'm working on stuff. But uh, it's such a great show. It's fun. It's it a lot really of fun. Is. I mean, we we recently just we just tonight we just did our seventeen thousand and forty second episode. Um, Jeez. It's been a lot. Wow. It's been it's been it's been a long, you know. No, no weekly I, it, installments. All of those. <laughs> you, That's you what's amazing it, to it me. It really it, it it reminds me so much of of Mac Break Weekly when I when I first got into podcasting <laughs> when, it, when it was good. <laughs> I haven't I haven't listened to Mac Break Weekly in a while. <laughs> Wow. I just went for the joke. I love Shots it. Fired. I love it here. I love Shots it here. fired. I love Hashtag. it here. <laughs> I love it here. Well, is Merlin still on that show? Did no? you put on? Did you put on the top shoes? Because <laughs> you're about to get the, the old Tom treatment. Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, no, it was. Uh, it, it, it's such an easy, uh, awesome show that like is dealing with such a vital ecosystem. And if I mean, like, I I have no Android devices. Yep. And uh, I love watching. I mean, all the iPhone Android jokes aside, it's actually really a really interesting kind of space to see Great. what's happening and like yeah. and a lot of the stuff. And and hey, I gotta. I mean, I just show up here once a week and I crack jokes. I mean, all the credit goes to Jason. He's like the man he's who, so, who awesome. makes that show happen. And and like it, it, he's I'm, also had like an, another level hosting now. Oh yeah. It's like at some point you just realize that he's leveled up. Well, like twenty five <laughs> levels, and you're like, oh wow, he used to be like a good host who could like kind of carry a show right. and now you are like among the oh, best he's a pro. hosts on the network. Well what's what's funny is that, I mean, Brian you were talking earlier about like geeking out working at Image and how you geeked out when you came to the Revision 3 like I was in those same shoes and still am I mean you know like I listened to CNET to buzz out loud and all that stuff like so Tom and Jason and stuff like that and just so just being able to be a part of that like I it's again it's like is anyone going to realize I don't know what I'm talking about so, so is is there any part of your life that's not subject to the imposter syndrome yeah what do you feel really really good at doing oh sh I'm a I, I I'm a really good eater like I can I can I can put a meal away like nobody's business like I'm I good. Feel, so once you once you go to Applebee's you once feel you, right at yeah, home I can, I can like take, that, that's a true and good friendship I can take those ribs hey, and wait, just hold on. Do you ever be go to my single <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, listen, as soon as, as soon as Ron starts dropping, <laughs> like when Mac Break was good jokes, I figured with the shackles Oh, there he off. is. There he is. Look at that. Look at Jason I think he's, out. and he's actually editing the show. That's what's, that's what's genius, or he's supposed to be, but... <laughs> All right, Brian. Let's wrap it up. Do we have any more tweets? We just want to. We want to like, take this. Uh, no, baby they're, out they're all they're all hilarious and awesome. And it's like it's so weird because some of them are are just really heartfelt. And and I think it's you know we want to make a joke out of everything. But to be honest, I'm a little bit floored at the outpouring of support. Um, this has been a project, like I said, almost two years in the making. And to actually see it happen and to just you know just scratch that off the bucket list. I, I couldn't be happier, and thank you for everyone who supported me to, to get to this point, and thanks for the tweets. That's all I got to say. How about that? That's great. February 27th, Hacking the System. Brian Brushwood, Jason Murphy. We will be talking far more about that in the coming weeks. We are doing a new Night Attack album. It's called Night Attack 3. You can subscribe. Uh, to get tracks as we produce them. A new track this week from the Oakland recordings that we did when Brian was here last. Uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter. Follow me on brand new YouTube. Uh, YouTube.com slash Justin Robert Young. Oh, Silly videos. Way, don't be shy about that because you're doing. You're pulling out all the stops. You full on just jump right in with a uh, with a uh, uh, R.L. Stein segment. Uh, I, I don't want to say what the visual enhancements are, but you look more like R.L. Stein than you ever have before, sir. Uh, yes, uh, he still lives alone, and boy, is he proud of it. Uh, and then that about is it. That wraps it up. Uh, Till next time, folks. See you next Tuesday. Yeah, man. Do me a favor, people. Love you. Die in a fire.
What is wrong with your face? I love it here, too. No. I love it. I feel I feel like a, a member of the family here. I feel... Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Jason Howe looking like one of the uh, the evil ghosts from the movie Ghost. <laughs> He's going to tackle Ron like Patrick Swayze. <laughs>